Okay, so to learn and to be successful in algebra, you must understand functions. And uh, this particular video is about a specific topic within functions, something called composite functions. And you could tell that you are dealing with a composite function if you run into a notation like this. And this is something you must know in order to pass like a first year or second year algebra course. And uh, this typically gives a lot of students some um, uh, confusion. I think it's just because the notation could be a little bit confusing. But uh, I'm going to teach you exactly how to deal with composite functions in this video. But let's see if you can do this problem right here. So I have two functions. I have f of x is equal to 4x minus 1 and g of x is equal to 3x plus 2. Can you find f of g of x? Now, if you can, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to walk through exactly how to do this composite function uh, problem. And this will be a nice kind of review or an introduction to this topic if you are an algebra student or if you just like to learn math for fun. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so one more time, we have these two functions, f of x is equal to 4x minus 1, and g of x is equal to 3x plus 2. We want to find f of g of x. This is a composite function, and this is a, another uh, notation for it, but uh, I would say uh, this notation right here is by far uh, more common than this notation. But either way, let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. So given these two functions, f of g of x, and this, of course, would be considered a composite function, is what? Well, f of g of x is equal to 12x plus 7 in this example. Okay, so how did you do? Well, if you got this right, let's go ahead and celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face and a plus a 100% and multiple stars so you can brag to your friends and family that indeed you are a certified professional expert in the area of composite functions. Uh, your family and friends will be like, I have no idea uh, what that means, but I'm pretty sure you are going to be very successful in the future. Okay, but to all kind of jokes aside, if you are like, I'm totally confused, Mr. YouTube Math Man, what's going on here? Well, let's go ahead and get into it right now. And we're going to keep things kind of short in this uh, video because this is a big topic. And if you don't understand uh, basic function concepts, well, you definitely need to understand. I'll give you some suggestions um, as we kind of go through this video. But let's just take a look at uh, this function right here. Now, we have f of x and we have g of x. Now, these are two uh, separate functions. And you could tell the name of a function by the variable in front right here. Okay, and you can have all different sorts of names. We could have uh, h of t. We're going to have y of g. Uh, we're just using f of x and g of x. These are pretty common variables in algebra. But don't, uh, you know, get stuck on the fact that, oh, your our functions always have to be f and g. They can pretty much be anything. But what we do want to notice here is that f of x, this variable x, we have a rule over here, so we have to use the variable x here. So for example, if I had um, f of t is equal to 3x minus 1, this wouldn't be correct because I'm using this variable t. So we could just fix this up by uh, writing f of t is equal to 3t minus 1. Okay. Now hopefully this is kind of basic stuff that you already know. But again, uh, functions is a huge topic in algebra, and a lot of students uh, tend to struggle with this. But let's go ahead and take a look at this function right here. Okay, so we have f of x is equal to 4x minus 1, and let's just uh, evaluate this function right here for 2. In other words, I have this function, and we want to find f of 2. Okay, so we're going to be plugging it uh, in a value into the function. So what does that mean? Well, what we're going to do is replace the x with a 2. Okay, so anywhere I see an x in my little function rule right here, I'm going to plug in a 2, and then I'm going to just simplify uh, the result. So 4 times 2 is 8. 8 minus 1 is 7. So f of 2 is equal to 7. 
Okay, so that's just a basic example of evaluating a function. Now we need to understand this because we're going to be uh, evaluating this function not with a number, but with another function. And that is the whole idea behind a composite function. So let's go ahead and take a look at what that looks like. So here is our function f of x is equal to 4x minus 1. If I want to find the composite function, uh, f of g of x, what I'm stating is I want to plug in the g of x function into this function, the f function. Okay, so we got to be clear about this. So this is what this notation is saying, saying, all right, f of uh, uh, f of x is equal to 4x minus 1. So um, like we just saw, if I wanted to evaluate this function for a number, that would be f of 2 is equal to 4 times 2 minus 1. But f of g of x means, hey, instead of an x here, I'm going to plug in the g of x function. Now, the g of x function, this is the name of it, but the actual uh, function is 3x plus 2. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to replace this x with g of x, but it's not going to be the g of x like this. It's going to be what it's equal to, 3x plus 2. All right, so if that makes sense, let's go ahead and take the next step and see how this works. But before we do that, let's go ahead and have you subs uh, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel real quick. I need your support to do these videos. I've been on YouTube for a good 10 plus years. I have over 2,000 uh, plus videos from basic math to advanced math, like calculus and everything in between. But I make these videos because I'm trying to, you know, offer my instruction for those of you out there that can uh, use it. Okay. Now, a lot of people need a lot more instruction than they're getting in school. Not because maybe your teacher is not a great teacher, but you know, you have limited access to them. They're in the class, you know, you're in the classroom with your teacher for maybe like 60 minutes at a time. But my YouTube channel, you know, I kind of think of it as a gigantic classroom, virtual classroom, where I could just teach, teach, teach. So I have a huge amount of content. Now, uh, if some of you out there are actually taking Algebra 1, Algebra 2, and you're having a tough time with composite functions or uh, finding the domain of functions or just the whole thing about functions, it's a huge a part of learning algebra. Check out my Algebra 1 and Algebra 2 courses. If you're in more advanced algebra, you might want to check out my pre-calculus course. But I'll leave, uh, I'll leave the links to all those courses uh, in the description below. But anyways, by you subscribing, it really does uh, help that YouTube algorithm push out my content. If you're going to do that, might as well hit that notification bell as well. Okay, so let's get back to this example on composite functions. So we have f of x is equal to 4x minus 1. This is our function, okay? And we want to find the composite f of g of x. Okay, so that means that we're going to be plugging in this function, g of x, into the f function. Now, you might be saying, well, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, when am I even going to need this stuff? Well, uh, when you are working with functions, uh, especially like inverse functions and things, you find composite functions. Well, there's a lot of problems you need to be able to uh, find composite functions in. So this is not like some sort of rare thing that you do in algebra. You absolutely must know how to find uh, a composite functions. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. Uh, this is not going to be that difficult. So we're going to find f of g of x. So everywhere we see the x, so this x right here, we're going to replace it with the g of x function, but that means this part of the g of x function, 3x plus 2. So instead of 4x, we're going to have 4 times 3x plus 2, which is the g of x function. And now what we have to do is just basically do the simple algebra to clean this up. So we're going to use the distributive property here. So 4 times 3x is 12x. 4 times 2 is 8 minus 1. Okay, so you got to be careful here because, remember, this is um, what we're plugging in. So you definitely have to use parentheses, okay? You have to be very careful with that. This is the g of x part. So, uh, you know, here we don't have parentheses, but you want to use parentheses when you plug it in. Okay, so uh, we have uh, 4 times 3x, 12x, 4 times 2, 8 minus 1. And when we, uh, when we clean this up, we get f of g of x is equal to 12x plus 7. Okay, so a pretty simple example of uh, composite functions. Uh, you know, the algebra definitely gets much more involved with composite functions. So before you can do uh, composite functions, you really have to have strong algebra skills. That's why it's important to master, you know, algebra learning, uh, you know, when you learn math, you have to learn it step by step. Okay, first you have to be able to work with variables and fractions and solve equations, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So 
if you are struggling, let's say, with functions or composite functions, uh, it might mean that you're, you know, a little bit weak in some of these other uh, previous skills, but no big deal. Everything can be uh, improved. Everything can uh, be fixed, but you have to put in the effort. But uh, most importantly, you need access to great instruction. So if you need full-on algebra help, okay, and you definitely are taking some sort of class, and not only do you want to pass it, but you want to get like an A+. Plus in that course, well, then definitely check out my full uh, courses. I mean, it's a massive in amount of instruction, much more than what I do on YouTube. But uh, also, I have a ton of additional videos on my YouTube channel as well that can help you out. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.